everyone, welcome to another episode of the Venom Vlog. Uh, today we actually got some movie news, which we're going to get to here shortly. But real quickly, it's the morning. I got to weigh myself. I haven't eaten yet or anything like that. But I just did my push-ups, my sit-ups. So I'm going to weigh myself. Hello, Star Wars. Uh, hey, what's up, Yoda? Um, but yeah, I'm going to weigh myself. Let's check out how much I weigh. So that way uh, I see if I've kept the... Uh, I'm still down at 204 or if I've gained a pound or two back. Let's check it out. I don't know if we're going to be able to see this. but We'll, we'll see. Let me zoom in here. All right, I think I'm down to 203. It is fluctuating a lot because I'm leaning over. Uh, but it looks like I'm I'm either still at 203 or 204. I don't know. That's good enough for me. Um, 203, 204. Like I said, I had to lean down and like to, to get the, get that on film, and uh, and so it was like shaking a lot. But it looks like I'm still around the 203, 204 marker. So we'll just we'll count it as 204 for now. Um, we'll just do that because uh, I'm I'm really excited to lose the first five pounds. That's what I'm I'm really trying to get to 203, just to be like, all right, in like a month and a half or like a month or so, we've done it. That that would be so great. Uh, but yeah, so let's just keep that 204 for now. We'll save the excitement for a future episode. Uh, but yeah, we have some new movie news. Uh, Michelle Williams did like a little interview thing for her new movie, uh, All the Money in the World. So we're gonna get into what she said about the Venom movie. All right, so this is going to be a quick one today because it's not like a ton of news, but it's just a couple quotes actually from Michelle Williams, who again, I'm so excited is in this movie. And as predicted a couple videos ago, I was pretty sure she was going to play Anne Weying, who is uh, Eddie Brock's ex-wife in the comic books. And she kind of comes back in during like issues 374 and 375 of Amazing Spider-Man to kind of help turn the tide of the hatred uh, Venom has towards Spider-Man. So she's kind of a pivotal role in kind of the character's, uh, you know, direction he goes in from villain to anti-hero. So it would be really interesting to see the kind of the role she plays without Spider-Man. Obviously, she'll probably serve the same purpose. But I kind of want to know what, like, where they go with her. Because she's a really interesting character. Like, she actually starts off, you know, as, like, the, the girlfriend or the wife, the ex-wife. Um, but then she's like, I, I believe in you, Eddie. You can do the right thing. And she kind of, you know, guides him uh, like I said in into a better path or at least a more of an anti-hero and less vet a villainous path uh, path and then she also um in the comics she gets wounded at a point uh, a new sin eater in the comic arrives at one point and shoots her and she gets wounded and in order to save her life Eddie Brock gives up his venom symbiote to like encompass her uh, because the symbiote has like self-healing and stuff like that. So he gives it to her for a while and for like a few issues she runs around um, You know as like I guess they called her she venom although I never really liked that name But she kind of runs around with the symbiote on and she ends up killing the sin eater uh, And or killing a person. I think it was sin eater She killed because uh, this happened in a miniseries called the sinner takes all and uh, and then after the symbiote left her she was racked with the guilt of killing a human being uh, and it haunted her and she was having like all these nightmares and anxiety attacks and everything and eventually it led to her committing suicide in the comic book and it's a i don't know it, it's just an avenue that a lot of comic books don't go down because suicide's such a such a tough subject to, to tackle and as someone who's you know made attempts at my own life before it's like it, it's just something that's not easy to deal with. Uh, nobody wants to deal with that. And a lot of people look at it as, as a selfish act and they don't understand the pain the person's in and there, there's so many sides to it. So it's a, like I said, it's a very interesting character and she's more than just the ex-wife or the girlfriend. Like if you really dissect her, there's a lot more to this person. And obviously that's a lot of story to tell for, for this movie. So I'm not sure which they're going to go with, which side of her she's gonna, they're going to go with. Uh, so I think Michelle Williams is a perfect actress to play a character that has that much depth and may not get to show that much depth in a first movie, but hopefully something they explore in future films. Uh, so she sat down with Screen Rant this past week. And uh, to promote her new movie, um, all in, uh, all the money in the world, and uh, she was asked uh, a couple questions about the film, like what she could say about it. And so her comments were, um, "We're having fun. We're having fun. It's well for me. It's Tom Hardy. I just thought, well, that guy knows what he's doing. I'm just going to steal some of his moves, figure out what he knows. I just wanted to, you know, uh, you're only as good as the people you play with." And I really wanted to challenge myself with him as a partner. And that's why I really like her as an actress. Because she takes these like really dramatic roles and she works with really good people and really interesting people and different people. Like she, you know, she'll work with someone like Sarah Silverman and then she'll go and like, and then she comes from like Dawson's Creek, like everywhere in between her movies, like from Dawson's Creek to all, all the money in the world. Like she just picks really interesting roles. And I, 
And that's what gives me hope about this movie is I'm hoping she sees something on the pages of the character Anne Weying that drew her to the role. And obviously she said Tom too. She's wanted to work with Tom Hardy uh, because she's liked what he's done. So that's really cool to, to hear that that side of her. Um, and again, she, she mostly keeps quiet when asked directly about the movie because, she, you know, they're, they're very early stages. They're still filming it. She doesn't want to say too much. But what she did say was actually about motion capture and, and kind of her work in a CGI field before. So that was like, you know, safe ground for her to talk about. She said, I've done one other movie where I was asked to track a tennis ball with my eyes and pretend it was a giant creature thing. Um, and not my favorite thing in the world to do, but it is a skill set that I am trying to learn it. Uh, and uh, she... And she's, geez, what can I tell you? Not too much right now, as of referring to her character. So again, she could, she can't say much. Um, but uh, but she did mention that in a previous movie, she had to watch like a tennis ball, and that's a lot of times they they have actors and actresses do. And she said she wasn't a big fan of that. But obviously, she's going to get screen time with Eddie in the Venom suit. And Eddie, as we've been told, is a fully CGI created character in this movie um so it's there's i think there's some practicality to some of it uh, at certain scenes or like over the shoulder stuff they might have like a mold of some kind but for the most part he's a cgi creature and so it's she talks about you know she hinted at working you know a, a opposite a cgi creature uh but that's that's cool that she took this role because she's like hey i like tom hardy i like what he does but i also hope she took the role because there was something to explore with the character she's playing and, uh, and yeah, I'm excited. Like I said, I pretty much figured she was playing Anne Wang just by her look and everything and the caliber of actress she was. They would want someone really good uh, opposite Tom Hardy, and I think they did a great job casting her. So she, that's a, this is no surprise to me that she's playing Anne Wang, but, um, but now that it's confirmed, I'd like to know what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments of, what her, uh, of her comments here, of her quotes, and what you think of her playing the character. If you have anything you want to add about the Anne Wang character, anything I missed that you think should be talked about, let me know down in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you supporting this channel. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace.